like singing with me. We have some folks with us in the Neptune room. The Mother's Day special dinner is going on in the ballroom. But we have a few folks with us, and if you'd like to join, why join us, and of course, out there in Radio Land. Hiya, Walter. I want to be happy. round table over there. Hi, round table. Good. Folks, I'd like to speak for a moment to those of you who have what many consider a thankless job. You have been given the responsibility of planning your organization's next party or meeting, or you're the bowling league secretary and must plan the annual awards banquet. Well, let someone help you with all of those details. Call Pat Mooney at the Sheridan Islander Inn on Goat Island in Newport. He is a professional at planning banquets and business meetings. Whether it's for 25 people or 250 or even 550, an awards banquet, a luncheon or dinner meeting, or a week-long convention and exhibit, you will find Pat and his staff can help you with all of the details. And it doesn't cost you any more to have your next function at the Sheridan Islander. So give Pat Mooney a call at 849-2600. He may not be a member of your organization, but he acts like he is when he and his staff help you plan your party. Have your next meeting or banquet on our island, Goat Island. Call Pat Mooney at the Sheridan Islander Inn, Newport, 849-2600. And now it's time for me to take my traveling little cordless microphone, courtesy of Mr. Walter Hanlon, and move over and perhaps chat with some of the folks at the round table. Hi there, we are live, WADK Radio, and we'd love to know who you are and the purpose of your visit here at Newport. Well, we came here to celebrate Mother's Day with all of our mothers, oh, and we're from Providence, and it's a beautiful day on the island. Isn't it? And how nice Lovely. of you to come down here. It's our pleasure. It was delightful and delicious. Wonderful. Now, could we have your names, perhaps? Yes, I'm Susan Tridman and my mother, Ruth Temkin, and our dear friend, Sarah Feinberg. And oh. we're here with all of our family. Oh, that's a wonderful, it's a wonderful day, isn't yes, it, for it's that? it's a marvelous day. Thank you very much for letting me come over and chat with you. And Thank I hope you. some of your friends are listening out there in Providence, because this show goes up to Providence yes. and beyond. Thank, Thank you, Susan. Thank you. Thank you very much. And now... Uh, we're going to move over into what we call Saucy's Corner and chat with a couple of very lovely ladies who are friends of mine and friends of Mrs. K. McGinn. And good afternoon, Belle. Good afternoon, Sauce. And B. Hi. Hi, Sauce. I know that you girls are down here. You made a special trip down here so that we could uh, talk about how wonderful a person that K. McGinn is. We miss you, Kay, and our prayers and our thoughts and our love are always with you. The gang from the Sheraton send their love and thoughts, too, today. Happy Mother's Day, darling. Okay, B, you want to say a few words to Kay? Hi, Kay, this is B. We're all thinking about you, and uh, we're all thinking here, and everybody here, and of course, every, you know, Kay, uh, uh, Saucy's here, and we do miss you. Okay, thank you very much. Bell and B, and we're going to move right back to our piano at this moment and do some of the songs that we hope you like. Of course, we've got a... Just a moment. Oh, yes, and here comes our assistant manager, Mr. David Bowring, and he wants to give a special greeting to you, too. Uh, have a nice day, Kay, and we certainly miss you back here at the Sheridan. We think about you very often, and we have an awful lot of people asking about you. 
I hope you're feeling better, and uh, we hope to see you back soon. Okay, thank you very much, David Bowering. He's a doll. He's a, he's a real special kind of person. Uh, just before we go into our segment, I do want to make mention of the fact that we have some uh, very avid Saucy Sylvia fans who are listening out there in Riverside. Pat and Betty and Kate over there in Cranston and Eileen and West Warwick who are members of the Walk for Sauce Club and also uh, Ethel uh, right here in Newport. And you know, folks, I enjoy talking about the Pit and Patio in the Bellevue Plaza in Newport for a lot of reasons. Without question, the pizza served at the Pit and Patio is the finest in the region. After all, owner Dick Searcy sees to it that the dough is made fresh daily so that there's none of that thought and pray for the best attitude. Fresh dough, that is the answer. And the toppings are prepared fresh too, whether it's extra cheese or mushrooms, maybe pepperoni or chorice, or any of the rest, the toppings are strictly fresh. So when your pizza pops out of the oven sizzling hot, you'll know it's the best there is. But there's more to the pit and patio in the Bellevue Plaza. If you phone ahead, 849-3360, your order will be ready when you arrive, exactly when you arrive, so the pizza is still piping hot. Why, the other day some friends ordered 30 pizzas to go, and that's right, 30. That's what Walter Hanlon put in this commercial, 30. I did it, too. Right. They told the folks at the Pit and Patio when they would arrive, and when they pulled up at the Bellevue Plaza, the last two pizzas were just coming out of the oven. And that's hot pizza. So whether it's 30 pizzas for a magnificent pizza party or one pizza for the two of you, the best is to be found at the Pit and Patio, Bellevue Plaza in Newport. Phone 849-3360. For the million things she gave me Oh, means only that she's growing old T is for the tears were shed to save me H is for her heart of purest gold E is for the eyes with love light shining R means right and right she'll always be Put them all together they spell mother A word that means the world to me Tears were shed to save me. H is for her heart of purest gold. E is for her eyes with love light shining. R means right and right. She'll always be Put them all together They spell mother A word that means the world day set aside for the purpose of honoring motherhood that is observed in the United States on the second Sunday of May. The idea for the holiday is generally credited to Miss Anna M. Jarvis, 1864-1948 of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. A native of Grafton, West Virginia, she went in 1904 to Philadelphia where her mother died on May the 9th, 1905. On the anniversary of her mother's death, 
she held an informal memorial meeting of friends, and in 1907, a church service was held at Grafton on the second anniversary of her mother's death. Miss Jarvis then became the missionary of the idea of Mother's Day, writing thousands of letters to influential men and interviewing many public men to plead for the observance of the day. In May 1913, Pennsylvania made it a state holiday dedicated to the memory of the best mother in the world, your mother. This first proclamation of Mother's Day was issued by President Woodrow Wilson on May the 9th, 1914. And that is how this day, Mother's Day, came to be. Today we are going to do a group of songs, some about mothers, some with the word mother in them, and some perhaps that your mother played and sang as everyone gathered around the piano. And though we are going back a few years for some songs, we are not just singling out the mother of yesteryear. So for the young mothers of today, this is your day too. But let us go back first to the early frontier days. Musicologists have never quite agreed on the differences between the love songs and the ballads sung by mountain families of the Appalachians. Perhaps the only clear distinction is that the love songs describe the singer's own experience, while the ballads generally tell legendary tales of the past. Here is a song out of the past that ranks among the world's simplest songs, yet it has substance. How many mothers sang this song to their babies? Mammy loves, and pappy loves, and Mammy loves her baby. Go to sleepy, go to sleep, go to sleep, your little baby. When you wake, you shall have cake and ride on pretty little horsey. Go to sleepy, go to sleep, go to sleep, you little baby. In the early 1800s, one song that was praised as the dearest ballad ever sung was written by an American actor who had never owned a home in his life. His name was John Howard Payne. Among the performers later associated with this song was Jenny Lind, the Swedish Nightingale. During her American tour in 1850, she sang it at the White House for an audience that included Payne, President Millard Fillmore, and the entire cabinet. Here is the song. Mid pleasures and palaces, though we may roam, be it ever so humble, there's no place like home. A charm from the skies seems to hallow us there. Which seek through the world is ne'er met with elsewhere. Home, home, sweet, sweet home. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. American popular music had become a thriving industry. Most every home had a piano and someone to play it, usually mom. Here is one song that everyone was tapping their feet to at the close of the 19th century, a new kind of music called ragtime. This song, written by Joe Howard and the second of his eight wives, Ida Emerson. got a little baby, but she's out of sight. I talk to her across the telephone. I never seen my honey, but she's mine, all right. So take my tip and leave this gal alone. Every single morning you will hear me yell, hey Central, fix me up along the line. He connects me with my honey, then I rings the bell, and this is what I say to baby mine. Hello, 
Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my ragtime gal. Send me a kiss by wire. Baby, my heart's on fire. And if you refuse me, honey, you'll lose me. Then you'll be left alone. Oh, baby, telephone and tell me I'm your own. Hello, 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 hello. This morning through the phone she said her name was Bess. And now I kind of know where I am at. I'm satisfied because I've got my babe's address here pasted in the lining of my hat. I am mighty scared cause if the wires get crossed, will separate me from my baby mine then some other guy will win her and my game is lost and so each day i shout along the line oh hello my baby hello my honey hello my ragtime gal send me a kiss by wire Millions of Americans were touched by the memorable tune and its lyrics about the old homestead. Mother, a former sweetheart, and the moonlit banks of an Indian river. Round my Indiana homestead wave the cornfields. In the distance loom the woodlands clear and cool. Oftentimes my thoughts revert to scenes of childhood Where I first received my lessons in nature school But one thing there is missing in the picture Without her face it seems so incomplete I long to see my mother in the doorway she stood there years ago her boy to greet oh the moonlight spared a night along the wabash from the fields there comes the breath of new mown hay through the sycamores the candle lights are gleaming on the banks of the wabash far away Years have passed since I strolled by the river Arm in arm with sweetheart Mary by my side It was there I tried to tell her that I loved her It was there I begged of her to be my bride Long years have passed since I strolled through the churchyard She's sleeping there, my angel Mary dear. I love her, but she thought I didn't mean it. Still I'd give my future were she only here. Oh, the moonlight's fair tonight along the Wabash. From the fields there come the breath of new mown hay. Through the sycamores, the candlelights are gleaming on the banks 
of the Wabash far away. Friends, a special type of song that enjoyed considerable popularity in the 1890s was the moralistic ballad that told the sad, hard truth about life and love. Among the most notable were Gold Will Buy Most Anything But a True Girl's Heart, I Don't Care If You Never Come Back, and this tuneful song of 1899, all of which were written by Monroe H. Rosenfeld, one of the most fabulous characters of the era. Eminently successful as a songwriter and as a philanderer, he was a dismal failure at the racetrack, where he squandered most of the royalties from his tunes. He recovered some of his losses, however, by fleecing his frequently inebriated collaborator, Charles Graham, at poker games. Rosenfeld, incidentally, is thought to have given Tin Pan Alley its name. Was a bright and sunny day when a young wife went away from her husband who had wrung his heart with pain. On the table lay a note with her simple words she wrote. Goodbye, I hope we'll never meet again. Unto her mother she returned the home for which she'd often yearned for every spark of love for him had fled there he sought her out at last with repentance for the past but her mother met him at the door and said i think this is how we got these songs about mother-in-laws she was happy till she met you, and the fault is all your own. If she wishes to forget you, you will please let her alone. She has come to her old mother, just because there is no other. She'll be happy in her home, sweet home. I have come to say goodbye, said the husband with a sigh. Just let me take her to my heart again. But the mother said, too late. All her love has turned to hate. So go your way, your pleadings are in vain. She is my wife, the husband cried. You shall not take her from my side. The law forbids you part. We were wed. But you've broken every vow, she is yours no longer now. My daughter shall not go, the mother said. Yes, she was happy till she met you, and the fault is all your own. If she wishes to forget you, you will please let her alone. She has come to her old mother, just because there is no other. She'll be happy in her home, sweet home. Everybody, she was happy till she met you, and the fault is all your own. If she wishes to forget you, you will please let her alone. She has come to her old mother, just because there is no other. She'll be happy be in her home, sweet home. Oh. Of the 3,000 songs, including on the old Fall River line, Harry Von Tiltzer claimed to have written, this one was his personal favorite as well as his biggest success. According to one report, it was inspired by a newspaper story that told how a journalist had comforted an indigent family, excuse me, that's indigent family, by reminding them that good weather always follows bad. The number was introduced on the vaudeville stage in 1905 and soon became one of the most popular of all barbershop harmony songs. The survivors of the San Francisco earthquake in 1906 substituted the word Frisco for Nellie and sang the tune to help restore morale. 
Of special note is the remarkable fine verse, which is every bit as interesting musically as the famous chorus. At the turn of the century, a verse was not just a few bars of quick patter, but an integral part of the story that was being told in song. On a Sunday morn sat a maid forlorn with her sweetheart by her side. Through the window pane, she looked at the rain. We must stay home, Joe, she cried. There's a picnic, too, at the old point view. It's a shame it rained today. Then the boy drew near, kissed away each tear, and she heard him softly say, Wait till the sun shines, Nelly, when the clouds go drifting by. We will be happy, Nelly. Don't you sigh. Down lovers' lane we'll wander, sweethearts, you and I. Sunshine's Nelly by and by. How I long she sighed for a trolley ride just to show my brand new gown. Then she gazed on high with a gladsome cry for the sun came shining down. And she looked so sweet on the big front seat as the car sped on its way. And she whispered low, say you're all right, Joe. You just won my heart today. Wait till the sun shines, Nelly, when the clouds go drifting Happy Mother's Day to Sharon Rosen from Boston's finest. Friends, Sakuchi Lincoln Mercury has all kinds of cars for all kinds of people. Visit Sakuchi soon and you'll see just what I mean. That incomparable Lincoln Mercury 78 line includes your kind of car. If you like luxury and classic styling, you'll love the Continental Mark IV. If you like the look and feel of luxury with a nice, comfortable price tag, your next car should be a Mercury Monarch. And then there's the distinctive design of Mercury Cougar. Wow! The proven economy of Bobcat and the sportiness of Mercury's all-new Zephyr. If you're currently in the market for a used car, Sakuchi can help you there too with an excellent selection combined with affordable prices. Many people with second car needs have found Sakuchi's rental plans most convenient and practical. Ask about it anytime. Come see your friends at Sakuchi Lincoln Mercury. They have all kinds of cars for all kinds of people. Sakuchi, west of Main Road at Browns Lane in Middletown. In the early 1900s, families were singing songs like Sweet Adeline, 
Will you love me in December as you do in May? And when you were sweet 16 and this wonderful song. Just a baby's prayer at twilight when lights are low. Poor baby's years are filled with tears. There's a mother there at twilight who's proud to know. little tot is dad's forget me not after saying good night mama she climbs upstairs quite unaware and says her prayers oh kindly Tell my daddy that he must take care That the baby's prayer at twilight For her daddy over there 